Hey everybody, what's going on? This week on One Tool a Week, I we're going to be taking a look at WorkPants. So if you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So let's get to it. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool a Week. Guys, if you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So what is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, if you ask me, uh, somebody had comment that they wanted me to do a video on work pants. So this week we're going to be taking a look at work pants and what kind of work pants I use or I wanted to take a look at. So with that being said, guys, if you don't see your work pants in this video, let me know what kind of pants you use for work in the comments below. That way I could take a look at it in the future and look at them and try them out and see how I like them. So for this week, the first pants that I went ahead and looked at and I always use, it's going to be some Wranglers. Now, of course, they're going to be the regular fit Wranglers, guys. They're not going to be tight or straight fit or anything like that if you're going to be in the trades or if you're barely coming into the trades and you're going to be wearing skinny jeans or pants like that uh, more than likely uh, you're going to want to reassess that and go with some regular fit pants or some loose fit pants for a couple reasons for one you're more than likely going going to be going upstairs ladders or you're probably going to be carrying tools on you now if you have some tight pants on you which i don't even know how you wear pants like that uh they're gonna keep you from adding more tools or just being comfortable at the job site so another thing that i always look forward i love my pants to go on top of my boots around my boots i never tuck in my pants inside of my boots for a couple reasons one you're protecting your boots also by keeping the jeans around it and two you're also protecting yourself from anything coming inside of your pants or rocks or debris going into your into your boots so keep that in mind guys and so of course like i said guys i wear regular wranglers these are mostly what i wear all the time these are going to be the wranglers regular fit i'll keep the links below on my description and of course they're going to be 100 percent cotton now why do i say if they're made out of cotton well if you're a welder you're gonna want 100 percent cotton material for the reasons it's probably not gonna catch on fire and of course you're gonna want to starch them out and make sure they're nice and just bounce off those uh grinding Whenever you're grinding fires or anything like that, it just goes ahead and bounces off and keeps you uh, not catching on fire. So that's another thing. Now, of course, the Wranglers are going to have five pockets, which I love. Uh, the, the, the Usually I keep my utility knife on one and I keep another. Uh, I keep my keys and stuff in the other. I carry my keychain and, of course, my wallet or I'm going to have my phone and, of course, some tools on the right side. So, of course, like I said, it is five pockets. Pockets. you're gonna have one pocket right here you're gonna have two pockets one and two and then you're gonna have the two rear pockets now I like them darker just because you don't see as much dirt on them as you would see on lighter jeans so I like to keep them dark and of course once you've washed them back and forth they tend to fade off so keep that in mind and like I said guys I would definitely recommend just jeans all around any jeans if you wear Levi's I'm not discriminating against Levi's great brand uh, let me know what kind of Levi's you use or other other jean brands let me know I don't go with cinchy or uh, they also have Ariats. Honestly, for the price that you're paying for that, uh, they're just going to tear up. Now, if you want to be uh, bougied out and have some crazy expensive jeans for work, go ahead. But if they're going to tear on you, they're going to tear. Uh, what can I say? So jeans of course and of course these wranglers on amazon are gonna run you uh 30 uh if you pick them up either at target or walmart sometimes you're gonna be able to find them for 20 uh i tend to pick them up sometimes they have them on sale or uh, deals where they're 15 dollars a pop which is very cheap so keep in mind guys jeans always wear jeans uh whatever trade you're gonna be in just to start off or if you're going to a construction site make sure you have some nice jeans or some other uh candidates now another set of pants that i tend to look at and liked as a matter of fact are gonna be the carthart men's rugged flex straight fit right here 
Now, of course, card heart mates jeans also, which again, they were just a little bit uh, pricier, maybe about $50 or $40. If y'all know any other jeans that card heart makes that are a little below, maybe $30 or $20, let me know. Leave it in the comments below. Now, of course, these are going to be the dark khaki. They're also going to have a shadow and, of course, a black. The shadow is going to be like a grayish color. So it's going to be 98% cotton and 2% spandex. So the spandex is actually going to be card hearts rugged flex stretch technology which stretches just a tad bit that way you're more comfortable on the job site which is pretty neat and of course it is going to make a difference as far as moving ar around maneuvering sometimes you have to be in the attics jumping up and down whatever it is you're going to be comfortable around just to be lifting or just to be moving around walking and just be comfort keep in mind guys comfort is a major part of our job if you're not comfortable more than likely you're going to get irritated and you're gonna have uh, get angry at the job or wherever you're at and it's gonna cause issues the more comfortable you are the more productive you're going to be and the happier you are at work so always keep that in mind now of course on these on Amazon you're gonna be able to find them for $44.99 now the card hearts gonna have uh, five pockets uh, you're gonna have one pocket right here and another thing that I like they are pretty deep they seem to run about right here so the pockets are very large so you can keep multiple things in there which is very neat so you have one pocket here you have another pocket over here and then you're gonna have a zipper pocket right there that way you don't lose something or in case you're crawling or having to be in a confined space area something like that you go ahead and slip it in there that way you don't lose them i tend to lose my keys all the time when i have them and i have to crawl back and pick them up it happens so many times or tools if you're in the trades believe me you know what i'm talking about so so far we're at three pockets and then we have four and five pockets right here so again, guys, these are going to be the card heart. I really like them. They are very comfortable and I tend to like them. Now, of course, you could starch them out and you can use them for if you're helping out your welder or if you want some different pans and probably stick to jeans as far as the welding. So that's going to be that, the card heart. Now, the next one, oh, also it's going to be the straight fit, guys. Like I said, I like something that goes over my boots and they don't tend to... Uh, be too tight on my ankles or around my thighs whatever uh, and it's going to fit you comfortable and just be loose and be able to move around now the next one that we're going to be taking a look at is atg or the all-terrain gear wrangler synthetic utility pants right here so as you could see right here there was probably just one flaw that i saw with these and if you could see the stitching is coming off let me go ahead and zoom into it so as you can see right here, the stitching is already coming off and I only used them once, but I will say that I tore it off right there. I will say this, they are very comfortable guys. If you're looking for some very, very comfortable, then this is going to be probably your go to the synthetic style pants now keep in mind if you're a welder more than likely this isn't for you it's probably going to catch on fire and you're going to have fun uh your apprentice is going to have fun using the fire extinguisher on you or your journeyman is going to have fun using the fire extinguisher on you so keep that in mind guys now of course they're going to come in different colors uh this is going to be the morel the morel cutter which is a mushroom color so look at it it's going to be like a brownish uh grayish color you're going to have a bungee cord color, a dark shadow color, and mood indigo, just to name a couple. So I'll post it up on the links below. That way you can see the different colors and see if you want to pick them up for yourself. Now, the inside, you're going to have uh, kind of like a soft material which is pretty comfortable also if you go hiking these are probably going to be some pretty nice pants to wear to go hiking just because of the synthetic now the cool part about it is going to be that it they are quick drying and they prevent water uh moisture from passing to it so that is pretty neat so if you're working in a water environment area for you hvac or plumbing or if you're cleaning some cooling towers out there and you're trying to prevent yourself from getting as wet as you would uh, if you had regular pants or jeans and absorb the water then these are probably something that you might want to take a look at and uh probably wear them next time you're cleaning a cooling tower cleaning coils anything outside uh take a look at them guys and Trust me, you'll probably end up liking them. You are going to get six pockets on here, which you're going to have one right here, another one on top of it. That's two. You're going to get this one right here, three. Then you have a zipper on the side, which is a pretty large size. 
as you can see right there it's probably this section right here and that's uh four and then of course your two rear pockets five six so that's gonna be the pockets on there you're also gonna have a nice riveted pockets that way they don't tend to break at the points right there and they're suspended and keep lasting for a while this is going to be a upf 30 so if you're outside in the sun like i said if you're doing hiking outdoors things these are like i said again guys these are very comfortable pants i did wear them and i did like them just because the amount of stretch that you're able to do uh uh, going up the stairs going down the stairs ladders uh, extending your legs further out uh, this is just amazing comfortable pants to wear now on Amazon you're going to be able to find them for $39.99 so like I said keep that in mind guys depending on what you're looking for if you have any comments uh, or questions please let me know in the comments below and I'll get to you as soon as I can with those I know I haven't gotten to y'all sooner but as soon as I can, I will. So the last but not least, we're going to be looking at these babies right here. These are going to be the True Works T2 Work Pants. So let's go ahead and open these up. And of course, if you haven't heard of True Work, it's spelled T-R-U-A-W-E-R-K, which is, uh, I recently stumbled into it and I happen to like their, um, their clothing, which is pretty neat. And of course, uh, I did purchase a shirt for the summer, which is a uh, very UPF 30, I believe. And it's very breathable. And also if you're athletic or outside running or hiking, those probably be some nice shirts to wear. Now, the thing about the T2, you're going to get them in three different colors or four. You're going to get them in wolf gray, which is this color right here. And then you're also going to be able to get them in deep gray, navy and sand color, which is khaki pretty much so like the uh jake from allstate wearing some khakis so you're gonna get seven pockets in this pants which one of them's gonna be up here the other one's gonna be a zipper pocket right there that way you could go ahead and close up uh any valuables that you don't want to lose uh you're gonna have another one so that's at three you have a zipper right here which is four then you have this side pocket right here which is five and then you have a velcro pocket which is six and then last but not least the one thing that really did get to me guys is going to be you only have one rear pocket with a zipper so that's the seventh pocket i don't know why true works didn't just decide to throw in a second pocket over here uh if y'all could answer my questions in the comments below or get to me i would appreciate it or if y'all tend to change our style please let me know and i'll order them a new one uh i definitely love the second pocket in my rear uh just because i always have my phones or i have tools in my rear pocket that i don't want to carry i just carry with me just to be quick uh i definitely use both my rear pockets all the time so that's the one downfall that i saw for the true works pants other than that they are going to be synthetic and of course they're gonna have their four-way stretch material which is fabric that stretches all around which is kind of like a parachute also like the wranglers over here and it's just going to be comfortable all around now you are going to have some hoops right here that it didn't explain why but i want to say it's just for suspenders in case you wear some suspenders framers or anything like that you are going to have two uh but clip-ons right there that way you can undo it and then uh it, it the inside pockets are going to be puncher proof resistant that way if you have any sharp objects they don't tend to punch through or uh, cut you up the DWR which is their technology which is durable water repellent um, it's gonna help you uh, keep away rain uh, snow wind uh, they have three types of models I believe T1 T2 and the T3 the T1s for summer T2 uh, difference uh, I believe up to 30 degree temperature it'll keep you nice and warm and then the T3s are going to be uh, below uh, zero degrees i believe uh, i'll leave the links below uh, that way y'all know on that now these were the most expensive pants that i bought and like i said for 79 dollars and 99 cents i would have hoped it came with a second rear pocket so keep that in mind guys they other than that they are very comfortable if you don't use your rear pockets then uh you do definitely have different pockets in the front two extra ones uh than the other than the jeans and the card heart so 
there's that as always guys thank you all for the support we are almost at 3,000 subscribers and you know once we reach 3,000 subscribers i will be giving away a veto pro pack backpack so once we get to those 3,000, keep commenting keep liking my videos and of course let me know where you're from and what trade you're in uh that helps a lot and as always guys i do take a look at my comments and i read every single comment and i make my judgment who i do the giveaway to based off who's interactive the most so keep that in mind guys as always thank you all for tuning in to one tool a week guys.